feels so weird to see my hair again. What's up? Hi everyone. I am back. So today is going to be a uh, let's try to get sh done today. So I have a couple of updates for you because I am low key having an anxiety attack. I'm just kidding. But Nala starts daycare tomorrow. So the update is she, we did find a place. I'm okay with it. I, I don't know. Nobody's gonna be good enough except for me. <laughs> but outside of that, the place is decent. There, There's some things that I am slightly in question about, but it's not something, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's good enough for the moment. There is really no one else in Nala's age in skill level so nala is five months exactly today and she's still kind of struggling not much though but she still doesn't have full head ability and she still struggles with tummy time in the sense of she likes to smash her face inside of the whatever surface she is laying on she will literally lay there because she is so exhausted from trying to push yourself up. So that scares me because I know a lot of daycares try to assist in those areas of tummy time and that type of thing. And she's the only one at her age that I know of at the moment that is still struggling with the keeping the head up and sitting up. So yeah, that's that. But she's going tomorrow, so we have to go get a crib sheet for her mattress at the school. Uh, I will be taking a docket tot and her swaddle, which I need to wash. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I gotta label everything, her bottles. Let me t show you what I'm doing so far. So I did label the bag or whatever with her name, Nala Isaac. <laughs> right now I have the two bottles already made in the refrigerator so that David can take it first. So this is the Nala's, I put breast milk label and I put first on the top so that when they open this little zipper thing, they know to take this one first. I kind of like to interchange her between the formula and the um, breast milk so that it kind of like holds her over because sometimes she just loves the breast milk so much that she would just keep drinking and yeah so i also have the bottle in here already pre-made for the formula but i'm not gonna make that until the morning and i think i'll put number two here so i am starting to label those these are waterproof by the way so i got this off of amazon i believe it was like seven bucks for like a hundred of them. So I am doing the same thing. Another breast milk and I'm gonna probably put three on this one. So I'm trying to label everything. Also write out all her clothes, just all her stuff, make sure that's set away so that we don't have any issues. So as soon as they open it up, they'll see which one's first, second and third. So they'll get their life together but while Dave is getting ready I'll talk about this maybe you guys can help me out in trying to figure out ways to help Nala sustain from hunger a little bit longer as you know I went to the doctor recently and the doctor said that we can do the rice cereal I know that is very controversial amongst the mother community of using putting rice in her cereal but she can't last more than two hours without eating and that's pushing it i would say more like an hour and a half whether it is breast milk or not so my doctor said based off of her size and length and length and all that stuff she's probably just not getting full enough to sustain but she says she's not obese so she's probably ready to start getting some solids so she also told me that if she isn't getting the understanding of eating maybe i can also put a little bit of baby food inside of her milk and see if that works out so i don't really know what to do but all i know is her fussiness level has reached a whole new level i have tried to do the rice cereal 
in the milk and she hated it she did not like it one bit i do the powder formula by the way i have a lot let me show you guys i didn't expect to show you guys this but don't talk about me so this is all the formula <laughs> i like have so this is the current one she will drink these ones back here the gentle ease infamil liquid she is decent off this she will drink this if it's warm or whatever but all hold on i'm embarrassed but all this is stacked up that i have collected over the years and stuff like that this is the rice cereal that i tried feeding her and putting a little bit in her um thing and she wasn't feeling it and i put some of this not this one specifically it was this one yeah this was supposed to be the one that she used to drink that was the liquid version uh that's supposed to be really close to breast milk but she didn't like the formula at all when i give her breast milk she all for it but that's understandable but based off of like lately she's had like that type of hunger i can't really keep up every time i start to get a stash she like kills it because she's still hungry which lets me know it's time for something a little bit more heavy so if you have any advice on what i should do to help sustain if you've been through that before with your kid like i said i did speak to the pediatrician who's been following her who's seen her since day two or three i'm pretty sure she understands what she can do and can't do so i pretty much do trust her but i have my own slight reservations so anyway if you had any similar situations let me know because child it's not working not even a little bit but anyway so outside of that like i said we gotta do a couple errands and find this fitted sheet for her daycare crib but first let me tell you that we did actually find a stroller that actually fits in my <laughs> that actually fits in my trunk and it is this one so if you are in the same situation as me we have finally fit the Graco fast action 25 percent smaller fold mm -hmm. and you see the lady holding it this is kind of what works it barely makes it but it makes it, makes it. and that's all that matters because we need my front seat back and i ain't trying to wear down um the inside of my new leather seats you know so we are going to get ready to take this out because we need it for when we go out right now and that's right babe yep Look at baby Nala. Are you excited, Nala? Nala, are you excited about your new scroller? A little bit? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. You got a new scroller yeah. and a new car seat that's going in a new car. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, you breaking stuff. Damn. You see you? <laughs> you see you, Nala? I say we'll do that one-handed. Oh, babe, you got baby, your baby. zipper. Okay. Put that thing That's up. Been a problem yeah, no, you gotta put that up. I mean, I'm old. Yeah, only old people can't do this. Ooh, look at the car seat. Car seat. Car seat. Ooh, look at that matte black on them. What material is that? Gotta have a cup holders. It's a must. Oh, finally a cup, a snack tray. Yep, snack tray too. Can you see this? Alright. So, uh, let's get these wheels out. Oh, we might need the manual. I don't know what I'm doing. I can do that. Okay. I think. You watching me? Huh? Yeah, we're going about Okay, locked. All right, we get some. Okay, locked. Can I sit in there? No. All right. Oh, there's a car seat. See, Mom? Mom, go sit in Say, yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. Why are you trying to stand? Yeah, Daddy. 
cheerleader over there. Mm-hmm. Oh lord. Alright. Fast action is complete. You need to bring this down? Did it click? Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing about it is she's higher. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Y'all see this, you guys? It don't have the peekaboo window. Because we're so used to having the. Uh, canopy that was made for us mm. and we never really had the problem but i never realized until this very moment how much we actually use that canopy because mm -hmm. this right here ain't gonna cover nothing and then this is like it doesn't have like a click thing to like keep it right here sorry i was zoomed in too close but yeah this is what i was referring to it doesn't have like a clip mechanism it just falls i think it clicks but only once it gets like so far so that's kind of pointless. So we're probably gonna have to get another canopy. Go down. You gotta go in. <laughs> you gotta go in. Pull that head piece up. You in there, girl? She looks upset. Look at you in your new ride. I didn't want to sit down. So look at her in her new ride. She up higher, we can just touch her face yep. all easily and have a little, a little bit further. Mm -hmm. She chilling, she actually look like she fit without her insert now. Yeah, she do look like she fit. <laughs> <laughs> you know you owe when uh, this is the stuff that you are excited Heck about. Heck yeah, shoot. This is good stuff. You know how you know what price I got this for? I know. I got this on sale. Yeah, we got a good deal on this. <laughs> Tell them about it. I know you're gonna tell them about it. This thing was $200 regular price. Got this thing for $142, taxes included. All right, so finally made it in the car. It is so weird because I'm actually in the front seat uh, for once. I'm not a chauffeur for once. Still a chauffeur, but it doesn't feel as much like a chauffeur. I don't know when the last time I sat in the front seat was. It's been you. a while. Anyway, so. Finally found after felt it had to be like eight months. It's been a while. It's been a long time, but this tripod thingy that wasn't working in my last car because my car was uh like shaking a lot and it wasn't as smooth. So hopefully now that I found this, I can put this up because I wasn't trying to buy another one. Like I said, this thing is like sixty, seventy dollars for this thing, so definitely wasn't trying to get a new one. So let's see how this thing goes. Do it with bond in the car. Is that good? Yeah. They can see now too. <laughs> How you guys liking this? This seems like a lot less work. It's feels, yeah. It's giving me like boop bong vibes. I'm so hungry. What do you think about eating? I know if I was hungry, I'd be able to, you know, tell you real quick what it I want. It wasn't that. I, you know, I went, I went into a trance because I was like visualizing me smacking down some tacos while talking in the car, like <laughs> tacos. I ain't saying I want tacos, but I was envisioning us doing mukbang, eating tacos in the car. That's what I had a vision of. But don't think about that right now. You gotta think about what you want now. I know. You know what I would like? Wings. I need some more jerk sauce before I can do that. The camera about to die, y'all. <laughs> man, ain't this some good? Man, why you tell me got battery? So I can remember it. I don't know. I thought you had it. I no, thought you had it, dog. I went back two times. I thought you had it, dog. I went back two times. Dang. And I had one in my purse. Didn't I didn't even look at one. I probably took that out. Yeah, because I, I know you be in my purse. Yeah, I probably took it out. A guy ain't supposed to be in a girl purse. I probably took it out and charge it. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help you out. Alright, so today's the next day. I'm so sorry that the clip accidentally abruptly stopped. We ran out of battery and we just kind of had a goal in mind to only really focus on getting all the stuff done. So I stayed up last night until about maybe almost midnight labeling stuff, uh, making sure everything was ready. I had to like wash her swaddle and her blanket and stuff like that. 
They don't accept blankets anyway, but I wanted to wash more than just her swaddle. I don't really know what to expect, guys. By the way, how do you like this setup? Do, you, do I need to be closer? I don't really know what to expect. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling. I don't think sad is the word of how I'm feeling. I know I'm a little bit anxious. Uh, that's my baby. by daycare centers but it's just I have a trust issue and also I'm a little bit controlling when it comes to her because no one knows her like me and that's just the facts but I have mixed feelings because uh, I want her to develop at these places if she's going to be there all day so that means doing tummy time and learning from other kids and stuff. But at the same time, doing that makes me nervous because y'all know that she doesn't do great with tummy time. And putting that type of responsibility on someone who doesn't love her. And that might sound harsh, but that's just the facts. Like, they don't know her to love her. Like, when you love someone, you go out of your way to protect them. And that's just with anything. That's in relationships, you know, friendships. It doesn't matter what kind of relationships or relations that you have to a person. Um, but when you love them, you look out for them. So, it's just hard for me putting this type of responsibility in someone's hands that I don't know. So it's a process. It's I think I'm slowly getting there. I think it's going to really dictate based off of how everything goes today. Well not today because I am picking her up early today but like maybe tomorrow or the next day when she's actually there like a full day and they're giving me reports and that type of thing. I think when that starts to happen and seeing how organized they are, like the information they give me and all that stuff will help with feeling better. But as we know, people talk a lot of games, so yeah. I don't know if you guys can really see me, but I forgot to show you guys what she is looking like, and this is baby girl. She is still kind of tired, so I'm about to send her off, and I don't want to, but I got to. So let's send her off. So, I am just leaving daycare. I'm decent. I, I feel like, okay, with any type of service, I don't really have much to say until I have something to say, if that makes sense. Like, 
I'm not gonna go up there basically mad or in my feelings and like jumping on top of them and be like, oh, this is what you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. Of course, I'm gonna tell them what they need to do, but at the same time, I'm the type of person that I like to give the overview of everything that should happen and then you give me feedback on what happened and then we adjust from there. But I don't have a problem until I have a problem. She was chilling in a little lounger thingy when we was there, so that was fine. So, I don't know. I'm gonna just pray that Jesus and the Lord above watch over my baby girl. There was two teachers. There was only like five or six babies. So how they end up having it was they have like a no shoe zone. So I have gave them the Dock and tie and the swaddle and all her little knickknacks. I put that in her name drawer. Basically, they don't want no reason to go inside of the diaper bag, so I had to like put her formula up and all that other stuff. But I mean, I feel chill. I'm hoping baby girl does well, and we'll just see how it goes once I pick her up. So we are back. So sorry, it's actually been a couple hours. Actually, it's the end of the day. Here's baby Nala. <laughs> Trying to get her out. Clearly I got her back from daycare, but let me get her out first, hold on. Uh, I don't remember the last thing I recorded. I don't think I recorded going back up to the daycare. Clearly I'm back at the house. I did bring the camera, but for whatever reason, I was like, Super exhaust. I had took a long nap. By the time I woke up, it was time to pick her up because she had an appointment to go to and all that. Uh, well, I'll get her together. You laughing at me? You laughing at me? You laughing at me? You laughing at me? Huh? Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Look at you. you. <laughs> Funny girl. But, um, yeah, it was just a lot. Uh, I had to, like, pick her up by 2, and I woke up at, like, 1.40. So I had to, like, hurry up and get out the door. But, um, the situation is when I picked her up, <laughs> you still laughing? Girl. You had a good first day of daycare? You had a good day of daycare? Did you? Yeah, so when I went to pick her up, everything pretty much was good. When I got her, she was playing with toys. That's actually a big thing because she don't really play with toys, which made me want to actually put her down here with her toys because she was playing with toys. She was built and busy, child. But only thing I really don't like, it's not really huge things that I don't like, but it's like things that can be like really annoying. They told me that I couldn't let her sleep in a docketot or something like that. I shouldn't be bringing docketot because they're not supposed to, which is 100% understandable. Uh, Cause I know somebody be like, well, they're not supposed to let them sleep in docketot daycare. But the thing is, is that my question was to them, if I can use docketot at this location, I asked them that handful of times to say, yes, it's no issue. They can sleep in a docketot. Then the first day here, actually speaking to the teachers, they're like, no, they're not allowed to use docketots. And I'm like, that was a big thing for me because she still has trouble with just laying flat on the crib mattress. So I didn't want to put it nowhere where it was just like abruptly, you know, just like ripping the bandaid off and she couldn't use the docket top because I knew how restless she would be. And that's what happened. They told me that I can still bring it to try to transition her out of the docket top so she can just sleep on the mattress, which is understandable. But my thing is, it's just another thing that they told me one thing, but now it's like time for ready, set, action. It's like a whole different case which is like a pet peeve of mine. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and then so that I know what to expect. Not do enough to get my money and now that I'm here, it's a different situation. That was that, they said she did pretty good though, which is believable since she uh, 
was still doing fine. They said she had trouble napping. Uh, so when they gave me the list of her schedule, she only napped like 40 minutes at a time. So she's probably gonna be really tired today. So she's had like four different naps each nap. It wasn't more than like an hour and a half, but most of the naps was like 45 minutes long, which is not long at all for her. She had three bottles a day by two o'clock. But yeah, um, I guess that's really it for the most part. Like daycare was cool. I do end up like the teachers, so that's good so far. There is one kid sick, so I'm definitely gonna be giving her like uh, some medicine each day because I noticed that kid had like a snotty nose and stuff like that He was just playing, but I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I really don't know what to say She had a decent day. I guess well she had she probably had a good day uh, We're just gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video But I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one peace Don't come right to you